Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Betty Truder. Welcome to John Wick Hex, a rather fascinating Keanu Reeves up. And this here is a sponsored video because Good Shepherd Entertainment, they emailed me and they said, John, we want to give you access to John Wick Hanks. And I said, great, that sounds like a good time. Send it over. And they replied, no, John, don't interrupt. We also want to send you a van load full of money. To which I replied, well, I like Keanu Reeves and I like money. So let's flipping go. If you're not familiar with the John Wick films, by the way, basically they're the story of some guy who decided to kill Keanu Reeves' dog. Thus, Keanu Reeves decided to kill him and also several hundred other people in a massive bloody revenge rampage. And honestly, that's the most relatable motivation I've ever seen in an action film. This, however, is all before that. And yes, it all works a little bit uh, interestingly, which is uh, it's kind of real time and kind of not. Because uh, if we just uh, move over here, you notice over there we've got ourselves, uh, yes, the time mechanic. Because uh, this game doesn't really have uh, turns or action points. Instead, uh, everything takes a certain amount of time to do. So right now, time is frozen because John Wick's not doing anything. If I move over here, say, it's going to take 0 0.8 seconds. 1.2, 1.6. So uh, move over here. And this poor idiot sadly doesn't actually know I'm here because, you know, guards have line of sight and whatnot. So uh, if we just uh, give him a little bit of a click, then all of a sudden uh, we can choose what we're going to be doing. He's got himself a uh, three health and two focus. And uh, now we are selecting an action. So uh, yes, that's the one. Takedown. So uh, takedowns are a bit on the slow side. Meanwhile, yeah, a push doesn't do much, but it's really, really fast. A strike, however, that would do some good damage, not enough to kill him, but a takedown, that'd be fine. However, the guard, he doesn't know we're there, so uh, doing a slow thing doesn't really matter. So we're just going to uh, focus on him, actually. That's all A-OK. -okay. Grab him, knock him unconscious, and that there is one guard taken out. Absolutely beautiful. So uh, then we just are going to step back over to where that guard is, and we're just going to be uh, changing our stance as well. Because, yes, we can also go into uh, crouch, which means we're a bit more hidden and whatnot. Then we can just uh, stand up again, so so we're just going to be uh, doing that. That's going to be very important. You'll see why uh, in a moment. So uh, keep on keeping on. And yeah, you can run forward fairly confidently. So it's actually a fairly fast paced game because, uh, yeah, you can just run forward because time will freeze uh, when you actually, or rather, you know, your timeline uh, will freeze uh, if you see anybody else. So that doesn't really matter so much. And uh, here we go. We got a guard. But right now, uh, the guard has not detected us because he'd be marked if he had. So, aha. Now he's detected us. Uh, that's all absolutely fine. So we're going to get over here and we're going to change our stats, which means we're going to be better hidden. And you can just wait with the bottom right. So just wait for the guard to show up. But as soon as we're pretty confident we know where he is and now we've got his location, he's lost us again. So stand up and he now knows where we are. Now at this point, because the guard has our location, Yes, he's planning to take an action. He is going to finish his move, which he's currently in the middle of, and then he's going to shoot me very, very soon indeed. So I've got to figure out what I want to do to make that not happen. You see, if I try and shoot him back, he's going to shoot me before I shoot him. Typically, John Wick can do things just like a tiny bit faster than other people, just because he's like, you know, a super awesome mega assassin, and also he's Keanu Reeves, both of these things very important. But because that guy started trying to shoot before I did, uh, he's got the advantage. What I can do, however, is uh, throw the gun at this guy. So if I just toss my gun at him, that strikes me as a good thing to do. That's going to have him stunned uh, right now, and I can go and get that gun in a second. So uh, now that's happened, uh, we can just get over here. He's going to be stunned uh, for the time being, and now we just grab him and we take him uh, the flip down. And there we go. He goes down on the ground and we can pick up our gun again. So tossing your gun away is a good thing to do because even though it leaves you unarmed in terms of guns, it's faster. Very often, weaker actions can be performed faster. Yeah, bigger, more powerful actions, that's more of a problem. So just go over here and keep on keeping on. And uh, okay, we now know somebody is coming out over here. Now, does he know about me? Right now, he does not. So honestly, we may as well... Ah, we can't quite get him yet because he's not actually entered the battlefield. So uh, just wait for a moment. And now, now we can get him. Now the problem is, uh, if we take him down, uh, that is a slow action. And there's someone else over there. So potentially that's going to be a problem. But it's probably still uh, the best option. 
And then we just choose, yeah, after the takedown, where we want to end up. So probably in a position to get into cover. So we're just going to grab him, put him on the ground, and now everything's good. But that other guy is now, you know, nearby. He spotted the takedown. So I've taken out one person immediately. But if I want to try and shoot this guy, he's going to get the shot in just a fraction of a second earlier. And hit gun. Yes, I can actually toss the gun again. So we're just going to do that again. Then we're just going to move over there while you are stunned. Take you out. Grab you. Job flipping done. Don't forget your gun, by the way. Because, yes, we're going to be uh, we're going to be needing this thing. And ammo is limited for it. And now, as we leave the level, we get to have something very cool. Which is, uh, we get a little replay of our entire adventure in real time. And this is very important because, honestly, this is worth the asking price by itself. Because it means you get to watch Keanu Reeves teabagging his enemies. Which is, that's just the best thing. So go into cover. And then just pop out. Toss gun. Grab. Murder. Or rather take down. I'm not sure whether that person's dead. Kind of put the boot in afterwards, which was a bit on the, uh, the unnecessary side. Grab you. Put you down. Toss the gun. Grab. And you go in the ground too. Honestly, I feel like he's not dead. I think nobody's dead, all right? Because these people, they didn't kill my dog. So they just get knocked unconscious, damn it. And yeah, there's almost a tiny bit of a roguelike to it, which is ultimately uh, we need to, yes, get to the boss, sort him out, get the information out of him, something, something, something. We need to get to uh, Edgar, to be precise. But uh, on the way, yeah, things are persistent because this is all supposed to be happening uh, immediately after. So uh, if I use a pamo, it's gone. If I use a bandages to restore my health, that's gone too. So you've got to be, uh, yeah, careful. Very, very careful. One person right here. Obviously, we're just going to be uh, taking you down. No problem. But that means, uh, yeah, now there's a bit more of a crowd of people. And once you get into multiple people, you need to start being very careful. Maybe using a line of sight and whatnot. So uh, what do we know here? Two enemies, they're both planning to take a shot. And they've got the drop on me because they saw me while I was mid-takedown. So, uh, if I was to toss my gun, then... Okay. What I can do is I can stun one of them, but not the other. So, this is where we need to start thinking tactically. The problem is, yeah, if I go over here, I don't make it into cover in time. Because this might be cover from him, but you can see on the actual timeline, yeah. By the time I'm done with the move, they're both going to have got a shot off. So, I feel like the best option is probably going to be throw the gun at person number one, which is, uh, yeah, that's a 100% hit chance right there. So, I'm going to throw the gun at you, and then, unfortunately, someone else is going to have shot me in the meantime. You're stunned. He's in the middle of his shoot action because, I don't know, recoil or something. Can we actually... No, we're not close enough to you. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to take a step in this direction. There's there's another one right there. This is this is marvellous. Everything's, uh, everything's under control. I'm sure it's fine. Another step forward. And now, yes, you are now stunned for 1.7 seconds. I don't have a gun anymore. This guy's planning to shoot. Do you want to push this guy? If I push him, it's going to use up his focus. And that means, uh, yeah, it's going to stop him from doing much to me. And it's a fast action. I can get that done earlier. So I'm just going to push this guy. So it's going to push you. And then you're now back up on your feet. And you're planning to... Oh dear, I might have... Okay, maybe I should have just shot people with my gun. That might have been the better option, actually. Uh, okay, maybe I need to rethink some of this, because now you're planning to shoot me, and I'm I'm just running between three people who have all got guns. There were more people here than I was expecting, to be honest. Right, I think you just need to go down, because a basic strike will now actually, yeah, kill this guy, because he lost one point of health from the push. So we're just going to hit him. I've been shot again, which is, you know, absolutely fine. What are you doing? You're planning to move. Okay, so I'm just going to move to here. And I'm going to try and get out of the way of this guy if I can. Can I get to, to here in time? If I move to here and then move to here. You're also planning to shoot. And I could pick up this gun, but let's move out of... Okay, that right there. Yes, literally. Not like that. Let's, let's try that again. You see, this time what we're going to do is we're going to get around the back of this guy. 
And, uh, okay, maybe we should take him down anyway. Maybe we should just, like, um, put a strike in him. Okay, if I shoot him, uh, what does that do? That's two. So I'd say uh, maybe we just push this guy. Then we start going around the back and we use the car for cover. Because a takedown, not always a good idea. So that guy's now been pushed. Okay, no one else has actually seen us yet. So now I'm just going to strike him. Okay, so now he goes down. And because I didn't do a takedown, I didn't, you know, do a massive dramatic flip forward. So I'm going to get around the back over here. I have seen someone over there. They appear to be patrolling. And I think they've seen their friend. And they're now curious. Because I've seen that person... I now have a view as to what's going on. So, okay. Enemies are starting to become aware of me. I do have a chance to hit that guy. It would do some damage and they're not firing yet. So, honestly, this is probably a good time to start shooting. So, boom. And there we absolutely beautifully go. Marvellous. But I am, of course, using up ammunition. You, my friend, are now planning to shoot. If I move, that's not going to help. But if I change stance, then... Might get away with it? I did not get away with it. Okay, now I can roll. But I'm also using up focus meter. Because, yeah, focus, that's used for dramatic, acrobatic actions. Things that are, like, you know, tough or whatever. So, how about we just roll out of the way. And we see where this guy is going to end up. So, now we change stance. We move to here. And now we just wait for him to come to me. So he's coming in this direction. Just wait a handful of turns. And... Oh, he's turned. There we go. You, my friend. Now, can we get to you in time? Because right now, you're not really detecting me. And you're kind of going in this direction. Okay, who else is here? I don't see anyone else. So I'm going to toss my gun. And I'm going to take him down in one go. So grab him. Toss him down. Lovely. And now do not forget to pick up my gun, because my gun is really, really important. And refocus, because no one's shooting me right now, so you can just get your focus back. And if I wanted to, I could bandage up. What's important, however, is, yes, normally, if you've seen me play a video game before, you'll be aware I reload constantly. Don't, because this game treats magazines like, you know, actual magazines are, I assume. Which is, uh, if you reload, uh, that's it. The old bullets are just sort of... Uh, wasted so don't do that okay now that that was much better that's how you're supposed to play the game damn it and uh, someone's detected me game lets you know uh, that that's a thing that's going on or rather someone's around here let's just move out the way and yeah on this occasion uh, we can just avoid him so if you get out of line of sight that interrupts their action you come over here absolutely flipping beautiful and then yeah we just want to uh, take you down and then we get to choose at roughly where we end up afterwards so we just take care of him and we end up down over here which is a pretty positive place to be no one else seems to be aware of me yet there is yes a bandage or something over there start moving carefully in this direction staying close to cover okay i see some movement over there so wait for him to come to me. Because if he goes this way by the car, I might be able to just get behind him nice and easy. And, uh, okay. If I just take a step in this direction, I don't know who else is here. But you know what? What can I do here to strike, to push? Yeah, he got his gun up pretty fast. I can parry. So all that does is, uh, yeah, remove a bit of his focus. Alright, so that would do uh, something... But not much. Parry also causes, yeah, what looks like 0.4 seconds stun. The bare minimum, it would just interrupt his... Oh, there's several of them now. Okay, you're stepping out. You're now stunned, but it's a very brief stun. But it interrupts his action, so uh, it's not bad as a starting point. You're over here. You, my friend, are... Yeah, you're planning to shoot. So when I hover over you, timeline is highlighted. Okay. Can I get out of the way? I can 100% get out of the way. There's more of them here than I was expecting. So I'd say the best thing I can do is probably... Is he going to be? Oh. Oh. Okay, he just missed. The further away, the better. Now you are planning to shoot me. That I might not have an answer to. Because I can get to here. Okay, if I'm far enough away, he's more likely to miss. And no. He hit me there. Okay, but now I can shoot him 80% chance. 
He has been taken down. Lovely double tap right there. And honestly, this is a good spot. Because now, I can take a simple step down in this direction. And I should be in much better cover. So wait. And now shoot. Because yes, I can shoot way more accurately. Way more effectively. So he's not ready to go yet. Down he goes too. And now I'm just being a badass. So uh, get over here. Don't reload. I see you uh, over there. Where are you right now? Wait, wait, wait. And... Uh, Wait one more. He's going to come to this hex in a moment. I've got the gun. This is fine. Okay. So now we probably want to parry or push or strike. Strike does actually cause a tiny bit of stun too. Because yeah, you can see down there in the description. It says what it does to health. What it does to focus. And also what it does to stun and chance to hit. So uh, that would do a good job stunning him. So we're just going to hit him a bit. And now we can just push him to literally push him to death. I mean, why not, quite frankly? And down you go. And are you dead? I think you might be dead. Anyway, let's just go over here. Yes, he has been pushed to death. That was just... Sorry, that was just humiliating for you. And let's just go and get ourselves a nice bandage here. Pick up bandage. And now I've got three bandages. Now I've got six out of ten health. Should I use a bandage now? We well, may as well refocus. And as I've just picked up a bandage, uh, yeah, go on. I'll do that. But obviously, that's a very slow action. So, uh, topping up your bits and pieces, uh, that's going to be slow. And you can only hold one gun. So, that's why I'm not picking up their guns. Because I don't want to give up my gun. Because my gun's really good. So, in which case, over here. And let's watch the badass replay. So, Keanu just basically gives that person a push. Very passive-aggressive. Then kicks them in the groin. Round the back. One person's like, whoa, who just kicked that guy in the groin? And then he gets shot. Then I get shot. That bit was less Keanu Reeves. But what can you do? Actually, he does have to go and, like, you know, get himself healed up. So, being shot's part of the job. Then we just flip that guy. Then we just pick our gun up. Then I just shake my head to refocus. Because I got a bit, you know, confused. Uh, thinking about, I don't know, my favorite episode of the Pokemon anime or something. And then we just take that guy down. And then we just walk over here. This guy is going to be punched. And then I change my mind. Then I get shot in the back again. Then we start gunning people down. That's nice and badass. And then one more person over here. So punch and push. And you are dead from being pushed. Marvellous job. Flip it done. Then I go find some bandages. Then I wrap myself up with them straight away. Because I can. And then away we Keanu Reeves. But by now, they've probably realised we're coming. So, yes, now we've got um, a tea house ambush to take care of. So, okay. There's going to be trouble in here. Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. For those without the vision to transcend them. That's Hex, by the way. We're supposed to be killing him, but he's in hiding at the minute. So I need to, like, you know, shake the location out of his underlings and whatnot. And this here, by the way, yeah, you can see just how good John Wick is. Which is everything the enemy can do. Because they can do everything he can do. He can just do it better. So uh, it's going to take them some time to do a strike. If we start striking at the same moment, I get my strike off first. In fact, I can actually get my takedown off first. But, yeah, that would mean I'm busy doing the takedown for some time. And there might, just might be, you know, uh, trouble waiting elsewhere. But, I'll give it a go. And then I'll end up down over here, back in reasonably good cover. So, yes, that there, that worked out pretty nicely. And this guy, he's a brawler. So, okay, he doesn't have a gun. Right now, he doesn't know what's really going on to be honest but we can just take you down as well marvelous step back and yeah being able to specify where you end up after a move that's pretty useful so just keep on keeping on and you're definitely dead right because like i'm 90 percent sure you're dead are you just fine you're just oh i'm so sorry i thought you were already dead sorry about that possibly you've got more you know health against melee stuff because you know you're a brawler i'm just gonna punch you in the back of the head now Okay, you're dead now, or like unconscious. And missing some of the people in the last area were dead. So, if anybody asks, they like killed my guinea pigs or something. Okay, we got more trouble up ahead at getting to cover here. You have not detected me just yet. And yeah, I don't really want to go in 
if I can avoid it. Maybe, just maybe, I want to, you know, loop around the outside of the tea house, if at all possible. Going through the tea house seems like a bad idea, given this is the tea house ambush. So, uh, can I get to you right now? And, uh, okay. This brawler doesn't seem to have seen anything just yet. Take down. Uh, well, no one else seems to be here, so uh, go on. So, we're going to grab you, and then we're going to take you down. Are you down, my friend? I think you're down on the ground. Uh, get into uh, cover. Let's just move uh, from cover to cover. There's somebody uh, over here. And there's not great cover in this part of the world. In fact, you know what? I'm going to wait for him to see his friend and come over and, uh, you know, check it out. Because, oh, hang on. He's, no, you don't. No, you don't. Hide over here. Hide over here. Just wait. And I could go over here as well. And then, okay. Now we've run into each other. And he has not yet clocked. I'm back. you got three hit points, my friend. If I shoot you right now... Uh, Bit of a waste. I could have got away with actually meleeing him, and I really need to watch the older uh, ammo. So it would be nice to still have some ammo when I go up against, you know, Edgar and his 10 million points of health and whatever. So uh, keep on keeping on. There's there's a mysterious purple door here I don't flip and trust for one second. Uh, right. Go. And uh, what have we got around here? No one around here. Everything seems fine. Uh, keep on keeping on. Uh, yeah, just loop around the outside of the tea house, damn it. And okay, well now I'm just curious what's going on inside the tea house. Was there anyone in the tea house? Because I seem to have just walked around the outside of the tea house. I'm just going to check out the... Oh! I see you. I see you. Right, get over there. Oh! Okay, I found the tea house ambush, by which I mean I've walked straight into it. Okay, I'm going to get over here. You seem to be not aware of me right now. You're planning to take a shot, but you're very far away. So I might be able to get away with... Ooh. Okay. If I shoot this guy, being shot might itself interrupt my shot. I'm not sure. But this is... Uh, let's just check out your, your line of sight of me. I can't get behind this car. So yeah, I'm just going to take a shot. And... Uh, Okay, he's been taken out, and have I been shot? No, that was a miss, because it was quite long range. Now, as for this guy, yeah, what's this guy over here doing at this point? Do I even have visibility of him anymore? No, I've lost visibility of him, because my position slightly changed, or possibly my facing has. So, uh, you, my friend, are planning to shoot me. Now, I'm going to throw a gun in your face, then I don't have a gun anymore. But honestly, that's probably the best bet. There's... There's two people coming, and now I don't have a gun. Okay. There's an argument for saying that I've made a mistake here. I could just make a run for the exit. I'm not sure whether you're allowed to just make a run for the exit. Alright, maybe that's not the John Wick way. Maybe everyone needs to flipping die yet. Um, I could get over here. No one's shooting me right now. I can get here in 1.2 seconds. You're stunned for 1.9. I could pick up... Or I could pick up this gun. But that would lead me more towards the door. I'm going to go over here. And that was a miss. Pick up. But picking up a gun also, you know, does use up stuff. You are... You're a brawler. So you're just going to be walking at me. Because you don't like guns. So uh, can I shoot you? Uh, no. I could throw this gun. Okay. Just just keep keep throwing guns. But then this guy is also moving right now. Yeah. Throw throw this gun. And now, now this guy is... Uh, He's going to try and attack me. I feel like I shouldn't have thrown away my guns, to be honest. I feel like I might have made a mistake in that regard. You're trying to strike me, and you've engaged me in the purple oval of combat. I can dodge, but that's going to use up some of my focus. In fact, quite a lot of it. But I would like to, yes, get away from this whole situation if possible. You're just moving. You haven't seen me yet. Go get out the way. Okay. You are facing the wrong way. I'm just going to get over here, and then I'm... Oh, darn it, that was a hit, despite being sufficiently far away. Go! Okay, that's a mess. The gun people now need to come around the corner if they want to try and, you know, catch me. So now, now what we can do is just wait for him to take his step. Okay, now take him down. And then once we're done taking him down, I want to end up over here. That's going to buy a little bit of time, and I've got 1.4... 
Darn it, can I change stance to get into cover? No, I can't. Hope! Yep, that was a mess. Okay, um, how many more guns are there? There's some more guns over here. It's not, it's not much. They're just going to keep shooting me at this point. Admittedly, I could just change stance now. I could change stance and just hide here. How many of them are coming? Two. Both with guns. I don't have a gun anymore. Go. Change stance. And then, can I refocus? I cannot refocus. Okay. They don't know my location anymore. I can roll for two focus, then I can't roll anymore. Okay, wait. Wait for them to come to me. Because I might be able to just punch them out. In fact, that might be pretty much my only option. Okay, change stance at this point. So, okay, you're now really, really close. That will cause an interrupt. So you're in the middle of moving. I'm not sure whether an interrupt is good. Wait for him to finish his turn. Okay, now I can strike you. No one's actually planning to be attacking right now. That's going to take your focus away. So I'm just going to punch this guy right now. You're about to take a shot. And there's not much I can really do about that. Because if I try and change stance to be hitting again, it's too slow. So that guy's going to shoot me and he's probably going to succeed. But it's not been going too bad so far. So instead... I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to do a push, because a push is shorter, and it gets the kill anyway. And my push destination should be over here. Okay, I think I was just interrupted right there, unfortunately. So just punch this person. Okay, now seriously, change stance, and darn it, just got the shot off. Okay, um, I'm being shot, I'm being shot a little bit. Admittedly, but he now has to come to me because he can't see me anymore. So as soon as he's about here, change stance again. And you, my friend, can now... Yes, I can't take you down anymore because I, I literally just can't. But now you are staggered and now you're just going to be uh, punched a bit more, actually. And oh dear. Wait, are you dead? You're not dead, are you? Uh, I need to refocus, by the way. Never mind, we're all golden. Excellent. Aside from the fact I was repeatedly shot, this is... This is going to be an embarrassing, uh, you know, replay when it comes to it. Oh, there's more of them yet, by the way. Uh, maybe just go and, like, maybe pick up a gun. Like, I'm feeling like guns might actually be, like, a good thing to, to use. There we go. That was much easier. In future, I'm just going to use guns. Right, grab my customer handmaid back and maybe check if there's, like, some bandages or something uh, in the tea house. Are there any bandages in the tea house? Because... Uh, I don't see any bandages in the tea house. Well, that's just unfortunate. I kind of needed them, actually. Uh, yes, this is... Oh! Someone just shot me in the back. Well, that's just flipping rude. Okay, now I definitely need to, uh, to bandage. Oh, there's flipping! No, there's not more coming. That's my own time thing. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we good, by the way. I think we're golden. There's... Oh, there's more people. Yes, there might just be more people spawning forever. Maybe we just... Will you stop all shooting me? For one cocking second, please. And there we go. Yes, you can just walk out. So sometimes there is going to keep spawning enemies uh, forever. Oh, this is just going to be embarrassing. So, okay, the badass begins. Take you down. Grab you. Take you down. So far, badass levels. 10 out of 10. Okay, 9 out of 10. So I accidentally didn't finish off that guy. Then we just grab you. Okay, now up to a solid 9.5. Then, oh yeah. There we go. We flip and wait. We wait. We wait. And we pounce. We pounce with a gun. Like a tiger who has a gun. Alright, 9.5. Maybe even a 9.6. Alright, so uh, we go around the corner. Okay, this is where it all starts going wrong. Like, you can literally see Keanu Reeves panicking there and starting to flip a bit. And then, then I get shot a few times. Then I start tossing guns in people's faces. Then I'm shot some more, but I'm looking cool while I'm doing it. So I'm still a 7 out of 10 on the badass. That guy goes down up to 7.5. Definitely a bonus point right there. Then, then I fail to crouch in time. Then I get shot. That's down to a 6. Then I get shot again. We're definitely down to a 5. Like, maybe even a 4.5 out of 10. Then we take you out and we pick up a gun. And then we start taking out a handful of people. Some more people start spawning. We start shooting them. When you're shooting brawlers, not brawling them. Well, that's got to be uh, losing points right there. And, you know, we're up to 5.5 max. We go into the tea house. I get shot by someone I didn't even realize was there. And to be honest, let's just, let's just pretend this whole bit didn't happen. Let's just say we ran out super fast and badass. The approach. A direct assault is likely expedient. What it lacks in subtlety, it makes up in speed. Okay, so we have to kill a lot of people. Got it. 
Admittedly, my custom handgun is getting low. Do I want to do the reload now? Maybe I can take out, like, one more person. Because this person, I can definitely take down. So, grab you. End up over here. Lovely. And how many more people are around? Because, yes, I think the purple doors can be uh, spawny doors. And... What have we got? Yeah, we've got someone spawning in and... Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Get over here fast as you like and... There's another person right there. Ah, but you're a brawler. So that's kind of okay, actually. And then we're going to get you over there. We're going to take you down and then we're going to move over here away from the brawler. So you get taken down, then I back off over in this direction. So that leaves me in a good position to maybe take out you. And I don't really want to be bothering to deal with any of that... And then he's going to come over here. Is he in range to uh, wait? Is he in range? Just wait and take him down. Because, uh, yeah, you can just take down brawlers because you're Keanu flipping Reeves. Uh, so that's fine. And once again, once with data, back off. Another brawler coming in. Okay, brawlers on their own are not a problem. They're just good for, yeah, distracting other people. So just wait for you to come to me. Wait, wait. And are you in range yet? Yes, you are. And then uh, move back over here. You get taken down. Job done. Okay, good starting point here. All right, don't waste ammo on brawlers if you can avoid it. And uh, be alert for potential problems. Look, health flipping marvelous. Needed that. And okay, I'm suspicious about how close I am to the end of the level already. That's that's gonna be problems. Right. Okay, just wait. I see you there. Okay, so you're coming to me, but you're a brawler. So let's just lead you out the way if you'd be so kind. And then we're going to take you down and we're going to end up back over here. So you go down. There's another flipping one. And get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, I saw somebody. Pick up the bandages because seriously, we need them. And uh, okay, there's a person with a gun right there. And they're planning to shoot. Now I suspect I can get out of uh, dodge. Can I? Oh, yes, we interrupted their action. So there is now a person with a gun at the back, spawning in because I got sufficiently far ahead of them. Now I know there's another person over there. So there's a gun user right there. I'm probably best trying to get into cover over here. Okay, so, oh, exit locked. Ah, enemies close. So you need to do at least a little bit of clearing out yet. Okay, I see you and I see you. How many more enemies are around the corner here? Because we're now in... Uh, we're now in a very tight area. Okay. This all looks fine. Yeah. So that's locked again. If I get to, to here. Okay. Now. Now I've got a good shot. And I can shoot these guys uh, before anything else. That's going to get me down to one bullet. Down, down. And darn it. We actually missed that. Flipping hell, Keanu Reeves. You're letting me down. So this guy is... He is planning to shoot. But not just now. You're planning to shoot. And unfortunately... There's not much I can do to stop you. Short of throwing my gun at you and... No, even throwing the gun's not good enough. I was kind of hoping that, yeah, the bare minimum we get the kill. If I'm moving away, that's the best I've got. So, oh, this is a bit tricky. Hope! Okay, that was a miss. And then you're going to take a shot. Now, if I take another step back, boom. Okay, now, now I can reload. Okay, and now we've got... Now we got trouble on both sides. If a step here... Okay, which one are you? You're the guy who's going to shoot, like, in a split second. Uh, yes, because it says it's got the counts above their head, which is very useful. So you're going to shoot in 0 0.1 seconds. Uh, you're going to shoot in 0 0.7. If I take a step forward, uh, 0 0.4 I can get to here, 0 0.8 I can get to here. There's nothing I can do about this person. However, this person... You're the person who's got all the health. Meanwhile, you've got, like, no health. Which is, no, there's bloody health as a third. Okay, this is, this is fine. Everything's under control. Aside from the fact it's not. Uh, I've reloaded now, so I do get two shots off. If I shoot at you, do it. And, darn it, they move back too. I was just shot twice in the back, and now they're moving. Well, bloody hell, that's just annoying. Okay, so you're retreating. You're shooting at me. I can parry to stop your hit. You're going to try and take a shot. You're stunned. You do not currently have a shot at me. I need to take a shot at you. 
And gosh, flipping, I'm just being bull rushed by multiple enemies. Okay, I'm losing health worryingly fast and John Wick's unfortunately missed a few times. You're wrapping up your action. You've got no health left. I need to finish off this guy. Okay, just go over here, then go over here, and then do anything to... Oh, darn it. I can't parry because I'm out of focus. Uh, refocus and accept. Let's try that again. Okay, the enemies are definitely a bit randomized too, because yes, on this occasion I had less brawlers in the street and more gun users. So, uh, okay, just be aware of that. There's more bandages, which is great, but be aware there's going to be, yes, I see you. That's fine. How about you come over here and just try and uh, hunt me down? Because that's, that's absolutely fine. Then we'll just take you down, end up back over here. I see you. Can we just shoot you in the back? And we we both missed each other, but I did get at least one hit in. You now know where I am, so you're definitely going to be hunting me down. So that's one gun user out of the way, and then you're going to come over here, and I'm going to strike you and kill you before anything else happens. That's good. That's very, very good indeed. And yeah, if I want to save ammo with my good gun, I can just drop it for the second and use their much worse guns. Has anyone else been spotted yet? Not yet, but there is... Uh, yeah... There's one of them dead. Okay, there's... Aha! I see you. I see you. So, okay, this is this is perfect. Because this here, this is a person we can grab immediately. Wait for them to be on the field. Because I want to actually take them down. There we go. Take you down. End up over here. And no, seriously, take them down. There we go. Oh, there's another one! Then I was shot by the guy who came out of this door. Yes, I got ambushed by you. So, on the plus side, he's already shot me. So there's not really much more he can do. Do I want to return fire? Or do I want to try and get over to him? Because I suspect there might be there might be more of them. And I'm going to try and save ammo. So what's he doing? He's trying to strike me. I don't see anybody else. I can parry him. That uses up a tiny amount of focus. Striking, however, yeah, that doesn't. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to parry him. Just to keep him busy. Now I'm going to punch him in the face. And is he going to be dead from that? No, he's still got one. Punch him again. And down he goes. And I need to refocus urgently. In fact, I should have refocused in the alley. Right, get over here. Refocus. Just shake my head. Pick up the bandages. And... Okay, I think that's gone much better on this occasion. Just keep your eye out. Yes, you've got to make sure you don't push forward. Leaving enemies behind you. Or you will end up like, you know murdered. Really so murdered. Enemies close by. Okay, well I see one of them. And go. Is he on the field yet? No, wait for one more turn. Now he's on the field. Right, you can just be uh, taken out, please. And go. You go down. Are we now good? We're now... We're not good. Who's left? There is a brawler back over there. So, yes, yeah, sometimes the exit is locked. And yeah, you're a brawler. I'm just going to wait back over... Oh, there's two brawlers. Okay, if there's two brawlers, then what we're going to do is we're going to shoot them. But I'm not going to use my good gun for that. Okay, I'm going to go for a different gun. So we're just going to shoot you. Okay, so you're now dead. You're going to try and strike me. I'm just going to parry you because that's just going to keep you distracted. Then I'm just going to punch you. So I don't see anyone else, so I may as well just use the strike so I'm not burning my focus. So down you go. Everything is golden. Go over here, collect my good gun, and now beautiful. We move forward, and then we lure this guy into the alley after flibbling around a little bit. Grab him, down you go, you stupid loser. Shouldn't have eaten my hamster or whatever it was you did. So, then we go, take you out. Yeah, that'll teach you for annoying my budgery guard. And then we just go over here, and we take you down, thereby avenging my tortoise. You come over here, the canary has been avenged. And then finally over here, yes, it was. Grab the gun, shoot you at point blank range, then one just quick slap for you and then we just punch you around a bit. Marvellous job flipping done. Into the flipping house. So first step we have got yeah the first floor then we have got a boss of some description. So okay. Okay okay okay. You made a last stand on safe ground. Safe? Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. We live outside your pageantry of false currency. 
Okay, so they're starting to leave enemies in uh, positions where they'd be able to uh, ambush me. Be very much aware of that. Keep your eye out for enemies. Uh, I'm going to check the side rooms at first. And yes, I see you over there. I see you over there. So someone's detected me. And they're going to try and take a shot. But not if they can't see me. They're not. They don't try and take the shot and miss. That just kind of aborts their action if they lose a line of sight. Get over here. Now this is... Ah, that's a good place to uh, wait. Because now I can just wait for them to come to me. Because now you're taking... Uh, there we go. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to get over here. And I'm going to keep waiting for you. I think this is a better spot. So now we're going to come to here. Yep, that's fine. And then in a moment, just wait... And we're just going to wait for you. Step around the corner. Wait for you. And then we can take you down. And then, yeah, we can end up over here. Which is precisely where I want to be. And we're just going to take these guys out. Piece by piece. Alright, so we've got ourselves... Ah! Okay. There's a lower area. And we need to fight our way up the ramp. I'm guessing they're going to be shooting up the ramp here. And if I change stance right now... Yes, okay. So I can hide myself right there. Do I have a shot at you? 60%. It's a bit not a great shot. You're... Oh! But on the other hand, he was planning to shoot me. So, you know, maybe it was it was good enough. Right. Hide over here. This pillar will do uh, a good enough job uh, for now. And yeah, now we just wait. So he's going to come over in this direction. He might move into my line of sight in a second. Uh, uh, is he shooting just yet? He is not. He doesn't seem to think he's got a shot. Move to here. Okay, so just move around there. He's the only guy. So let him come a little bit closer. If we could take him out without actually needing to. Oh, he's... He doesn't know where we are. Step out. Can we get a good shot him? Do it. And darn it, he moved. And because he did a move action, that slightly shuffled him about. But now... Now he's got to be interested in me and where I'm. Seriously, stop stop being a dick. Stop being a dick and making me... Oh, there's more coming. Okay, this is... I'm going to fall back and get, like, the other gun. He doesn't seem to know precisely where I am. Oh, they're all coming now because they've heard the noise. Okay, this is fine. Get the less good gun. All right, just, just wait. And we're just going to take some pot shots at this guy. 40% is not great. Uh, wait for him. You're about to step out, aren't you? Yep, there we go. 90. Okay, so you're now going to try and take a shot at me, but not if I interrupt. You're not. Wait. He now can't do a thing. Step out. He takes a step closer. 60. And, ah, he actually moved and interrupted my action. That's my trick, you stupid bastard. Wait for him to step out of cover. Shoot. Okay, that's a good hit, but this gun doesn't do a double shot. So that's a bit unfortunate. Step over here. Step back. Now take another shot. You go down. You're going to try and take a shot at me, but not if you can't see me or not. Then there we go. This is good cover. Oh, he did do a double shot on that occasion. Well, that's fancy. Uh, what are you planning to do, my friend? Uh, nothing if you can't see me. So we're just going to ring around the rosy a bit. Then I'm going to shoot you in the back. Boom. Job done. Right. Now that, that worked pretty flipping well. Okay. Do we want to pick up my good gun again now? Also, where's my good gun? It's this one around here, I think. Okay. 11 shots. This is apparently a good gun. Or rather like, you know, it's my gun. I'm sentimental about it. So I'm going to use it to avenge my dog. Uh, so, Okay. Do we have anything else we need to get in here? Just see if we draw any attention. Well, I can't see up for over here, which is a problem. So, okay. Take one of the... Take one of the good guns. Uh, just start going upstairs. Oh! Are any more people coming in any other doors? Or no, I'm too far away. I can't tell. Okay. This is still fine. Uh, because you're about to be... Just wait for him to come out. And now we can take you down end up over. Oh, he just snuck away with his move action. No, you don't. Grab, put him inside the purple oval of pain, and then we just keep on keeping on. But watch out for people coming up behind me. With the high ground, I might well have a good solid advantage. So just keep on. We good? Oh! There's someone there, and aha! That there is 
That's a window. Roll. Okay, now, are both of these, yeah, they're all open. Now, if I stand, can I see anything? He's right there. And then he's... If I take a step there, I can take a step. You know what? I'm going to refocus. Oh! Okay, then I'm going to take a step over here. That's going to interrupt you. And now you don't know what you're doing anymore. So I'm just going to shoot you. And darn it. I got him one hit. And then he was able to get away. Move. And then shoot him again. Just one. There we go. Well done. Good Keanu Reevesing right there. Enemies are still close. Do I see where they are? And do I see... Oh! I see you. Hello! And then we're just going to take you down. And is that... There's still more, apparently. Somewhere. Enemies... Are we golden? Enemies close. Where? Where are they hiding? Aha! I see somebody down below... Now, I do have... Darn it. Wait, wait. Excuse me. I know I was doing this trick earlier, but it's not fun when you're doing it. Only I may do this. So there's two heads right there, and uh, now he's going to try and shoot me. And, oh, dear. Uh, if I change stance. Darn it. Well, that's just not fair. I have the high ground. Star Wars taught me that's a good thing. There you go. You're dead. And I'm running... Uh, Low on ammo. In fact, I've only got three bullets left. It might be time to swap out this gun for a different one. Keep it for now. I'm sentimentally attached. So, okay. Let's just rank the badass. So, okay. Literally ambushing the ambusher. Straight up to a solid 8.5 right there. And then we just sneak in and we wait. All right. We are the viper who takes down the tiger. I don't know whether there are any countries where vipers and tigers exist in the same place at the same time. But if there are, then I'm the viper in that situation. And then, then I just, you know, walk away from bullets because I'm a badass. Then there's a bit too much hiding. Like, I'm going to dock Keanu like one badass point for that, especially as there are reinforcements coming in. But but, 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 then I lure them into my maze, and I pick up one of the rubbish guns, because my gun, all right, they're not even worth the flipping bullets. I'm going to use naff bullets. Then we just keep kind of playing a really ghoulish game of grandmother's footsteps, except, you know, I murder them. So, like, you know, grandmother's gun, I guess. Um, and there we go. We get the good gun, and up the stairs we go. And then we just take out these last two right here, which was a bit awkward. But, you know, it broadly was made to work. We just shot this guy. And, yes, my reflexes are just too good. Then we slightly, slightly let it down at the end by missing a guy when we had the high ground. And then he just shot me in return. So, really, he was the real John Wick there. But here we go. The boss. Time to clear the room and... Oh, I should have brought more than three bullets for this. Okay, so... Oh, it's a really small area. It's an incredibly small area. And luckily, there are some bandages here, which is good. So I'm just going to use one of them right now. And Never mind, I've just been... I should have used bandages before that point. Okay, so that was... That was not the right time to use um some bandages. Maybe, like, at another point. Now, did you just come in? Did I just see you over there? Right, you, my friend, we just need to take you out and then end up over here. Because, yes, I think there's another one coming in from behind. And I just thought, no, no, you don't. Right, wait for him. This time he's a gun user, which is fine. Just wait for him to complete that step. Uh, take you down and then end up over here. No one's around, so you may as well refocus. There's no reason not to in a quiet moment. There is another gun right here. So, okay. Get over to here. And I don't see anyone. Pick up the bandages. Not that slow an action. Okay. Three bullets. And uh, can I just drop my gun, by the way? I'm not sure I can actually choose to drop my gun, like, over here. So I can pile them next to each other. As much of a badass thing as that would be. So I kind of feel like, yes, we just need to be... Oh! Okay. There's somebody right here. He's just a brawler. So basically just let him come. Because we can lead him away from everybody else. So just take you down and then... It's not really where I want to end up, to be honest. But, oh, it turned out to be exactly where I wanted to end up. Because right now I can't see anyone else. So we're just going to take you down and then end up over... 
This isn't the perfect location. And then a hide. Oh, yeah. That interrupted your shot, you stupid loser. And then do I want to wait? Because there's a bit of a risk there's more people coming out. Where are you? Let him... Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh, I'm really sorry. Um, okay, just, just shoot you. Okay, you go down. And then we're going to take you down. And we're going to end up over here. Which is precisely where I want to be. Okay, now, now there's a secondary gun right here. That's good. I may as well refocus and I may as well bandage. That's a really slow action, but we're okay. Okay, this is a really solid start here. And I've got a secondary gun if I need it. Now, I'm a bit concerned about the fact I'm supposed to be capturing Edgar. And unless Edgar's like, you know, a ball of pure light, which would be a good twist, I'll admit... I'm not convinced he's here. And I feel like I should actually take, like, a different gun. Because I've got, like, no bullets in my gun right now. Can I actually, yes, load this gun? Pick up that instead. No. No, I can't. Reloading is for losers, apparently. Right, just step in. Cautious. And be ready to use these pillars. Because these pillars are good cover. So, someone's over there. Aha! We've got ourselves. Oh, blimey. Okay. We've got an Edgar, and he's as tough as me. So, uh, he's got himself 10 health, and also 10 focus, and 9mm automatic. So, uh, we are perfectly matched. All right, get into cover, and just to interrupt his actions as best as I can. Because I should be able to just get up around the side of him. Get up over here. Now, if he's coming in this direction, yeah. Now we should be able to get a shot. Only 20%. Oh dear. Okay, he's a bit on the evading side, but he's moving in this direction. So, still 20%. Okay, this is this is no good at all. 20%. Okay, this is 40%. Take it! Oh! I hit him once, he hit me once. This is, uh, this is no good at all. So, okay, he's in the middle of his shoot action right now. I can get another shoot action in before he does. And uh, he moves out the way. Okay, so he's playing the game just like I am. Move a bit further back and maybe uh, wait for him to get up close and personal. Then again, I cannot take him out. So I feel like maybe I need for him to be not in cover. Okay, wait, wait, and can I get a good shot there? Only 20%. That's a concern. Wait. Okay, now he's kind of more in open space. And now still 20. Okay, what is the problem with the range? My targets are ah, focus. I need to get his focus down. While he's focused, he's high evasion. And I see how that's going to be a problem for me. Yes. Uh, so what we need to do instead is... Uh, we need to get behind him. I need to sneak up behind him and... Oh. I need to, yeah, corner him in some way so he doesn't know where I am. Okay, where is he now? And go. Here we go. So now I can get over here. And now uh, what's he going to try and do? He's coming in for a strike. But if I do a, a push or a parry, a parry is fast. A push is also going to hit him before the strike and uh, ignores melee health damage. Okay, my focus goes, yeah, up a tiny bit. His goes down. I uh, hope that's going to stagger him. So, yeah, we're going to go for the push. All right, that's what we're going to do. So, push him. And there we go. That has interrupted him. So we can interrupt him. Now he's staggered. Now we're starting to really damage him. We can do a little bit of damage to him. That's now 100%. I can now start shooting him. His focus is now low enough. So, okay. The bosses, you've got to get close enough to them to start breaking their focus by punching them a bit. So, uh, I mean, I could punch him again. Right now he's uh, staggered. But I can get a strike in right now. And there we go. Now he's losing health and he's losing focus. Actually, he's not losing much in the way of health yet. Just keep punching him, to be honest. Like, now he's the only guy. Just keep punching him in the face over and over again. And when it's only him, this should now be quite doable. Though, okay, he's not taking any damage. That's, that's going to be the problem. Now I can take him down. Okay, that's going to do something. Uh, yes, your focus, repeated fatigue. Okay. What do we want to flipping do here? So if we just take him down. Yeah, takedowns do nothing. We have to shoot him. This has to be done with guns, damn it. Okay, so now we've shot him a bit. And now we can sort of keep shooting him. Because he's desperately trying to retreat. He gets out of uh, he gets out of dodge there. 
I've only got five bullets left. I'm getting a bit worried. I might not have enough bullets to, to finish this. Uh, shoot him again. And down he goes. Is that him done? Boom. Okay, watch the replay. So, in we go. We take you out. Nice and badass. We get over here. We wait. We ambush. Like the tiger ambushing the viper that was expecting to ambush him. Because that might happen sometimes too. Like if the tiger's really hungry. Then we just lead the brawler away. We take you down. You didn't even see it flipping coming. Oh, the dodge behind the pillar. That was badass. Okay, forgetting that you weren't actually dead. That was less so. I'll admit. Then we just reload the gun. And the fight begins. But unfortunately, well, after we kind of fiddle with our guns for a bit. Okay, that's that's fine. So, uh, unfortunately, what we didn't realise is uh, Edgar is a master of gun fu and basically cannot be shot. So, we just need to um, hide behind a pillar for a bit, which I'll admit is less badass. But eventually we realised all we needed to do was push him and then kick him in the balls and then kick him in the balls again. One kick for each ball, damn it. And then, once we kicked him in the balls sufficiently, at that point, we could just start shooting him. Yes, at that point, that was acceptable. Though, admittedly, I thought we were actually, you know, trying to get information about Hex's location. So, uh, hopefully, he kept a journal in his desk that says, you know, went to go and see Hex for tea at Hex's secret hideout at this address. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Oh, and I see. It's not good enough to just beat the game. The game wants you to do it with style. So you've got to do it faster. You've got to not be using bandages. You've got to be accurate. And you've got to be varied with your weapon usage. And uh, it also tracks your distance if you go a really long way round. So, uh, okay, that's fascinating stuff. And yes, that's, uh, that's in real time. So uh, I'm guessing, yeah, in real time, everything you just saw was only supposed to take seven minutes. Because Keanu Reeves gets a flipping shift on when someone's kidnapped his gerbil. Edgar was loyal to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Your mistake, mate, was that you should never have kidnapped his chickens. This was always going to end in bloodshed. Aha! And now things start uh, opening up a bit here, which is I've got myself ten coins to spend on prepping. So this would appear to be... Uh, Yes, a form of church that's been converted into a, a club. But I can spend money on one or two things. One, various upgrades, some of which are going to become unlocked over time. Unspent coins are not saved, so yeah, you may as well spend all of them. So, uh, yeah, moving penalty on incoming shoot attacks is increased. So lowering enemy hit chance. Well, that's got to be important. But, 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 we can also uh, stash goodies. So Osborne's in the center. We start here. We're just going to go in the side way, fight our way to him, then fight our way straight back out again. And yeah, I can start stashing a few various bits and pieces. So I can afford to either stash guns or bandages, though not necessarily in Osborne's place. And if I want to stash immediately before I run into, you know, the boss, it's going to be more expensive. So as you can actually just, you know, carry bandages with you, how about we just stash a bandage here and a bandage right here. Because I can just pick up guns off, you know, the people I murder. So life will be good. Though actually I've still got some spare money. So uh, go on. Stash a gun here just in case we... Uh, then again, maybe... Okay, never mind. We've already stashed that. That's just been executed. Fair enough. So there we flipping go. Now we've laid out how we want this to be. So yeah, you can slightly uh, modify the levels based on what you want to achieve. What you want to be easier or more difficult. So straight away, we are just in, and we've got a couple of stupid losers who need to be uh, taken down nice and fast. Don't forget to refocus whenever the opportunity presents itself, and we can just start moving through. And yes, you always start off with your gun, 15 bullets, one spare magazine. But if you can, save it. Save it because that's plenty of very good ammunition. It will be better not to waste it. So keep on keeping on, and be on the lookout for, you know, uh, the inevitable ambushers out the purple doors. There we flipping go. Figured you'd be arriving in a second, my friend. Uh, as soon as... Oh, dear. Can we just take you down and then end up over... Yes, here. That's all absolutely fine, please. Uh, and just grab you, then move you out the way, and... Okay, what are you planning to do? There's uh, multiple brawlers. Okay, so there's a brawler right here, but he was interrupted by me moving. We could just... Uh, 
give you a bit of a punch. That's fast. And, uh, oh dear, there's, there's a man with a gun at the back there. I can get to, uh, and get to here. I'm not sure that's going to be... Yeah, I'm going to finish that move just as he shoots. But I now get bonus dodge while moving. So that's just good enough. You meanwhile are trying to strike me. So if I just parry you, that's going to keep you nice and busy. Should have a chance to just punch you right now. You're going to try and shoot again. In fact, you're literally almost ready to. So that was maybe a bad move right there. So what are you doing, by the way? You're doing nothing right now. You're stunned. You're just finishing a move, I think. And uh, no, you're finishing a wait, actually. You're planning to shoot. But if I'm moving, that was a miss. Yes. So there we go. Uh, that actually works for me. So you now can't do anything uh, for a moment. I'm going to parry this guy. And then uh, you're now moving. If I do a very quick... Actually, you know, what's the fastest thing I can do that kills you? It's probably going to be... Strike, push, take down. It's all the same. Just there we go. Get the... Oh, blimey. You got a shot in fast than I was expecting. Sorry, you are the different guy than I was expecting. Okay, you now need to be struck as well. And now you're going to attack me in... Darn it. I don't have time. I was hoping to get a parry in. Uh, screw it. Toss the gun. Never mind. Just toss it anyway. Go. Did you just miss with the... Never mind. Just... John, you've let me down there. Still, on the plus side, yes indeed, I stashed some bandages right here. So there they are. And uh, do I want to try and... Oh, get away. There we go. Does him come to us? No need to uh, take him on directly. He's falling back, actually, by the looks of it. Unless he's... Uh, ah, the level's getting a bit more complicated, aren't they? Let's just hide around over here. He's about to come through that door. And in a moment, we're going to be able to... Darn it. He kind of went the wrong way. Well, we're just going to take him down in that case. Waste of two bullets, but what can you do? Right, so you're definitely dead, right? Yes, you're 100% dead. Okay, the levels are now opening up a little bit. You've got to be ready to do your business. And... Oh, hello. There's just a person here. Sorry, my mistake. Didn't realise you were in here. And I was shot by one more person on the way out of the bathroom too. Well, this is this is a scruffy opening, right? Flipping here. But then again, I did just go charging into a bathroom for no reason, so I kind of brought that one on myself. And oh yeah, the levels are definitely oh blimey, the levels are definitely opening up. You are planning to uh, you're not shooting just yet. I'm just gonna get over here. All right, just wait for him to arrive at that cell, and then uh, we can't take you down apparently. Why can't we take you uh, down? Just punch him. And who else is around? You are a brawler. You've got a gun. You, my friend, need to be... Yeah, just push him. That's all absolutely fine. So just knock him... Ow! That took too cocky long. Are you even dead yet? You're not even dead. I think you are dead. Right, get over there. Yes, he is dead. Okay, just down to two, uh, two bullets. You're over there. I need to bandage already. That's no good at all. And... Immediately get shot. Okay, this is... Okay, so the difficulties are, it's stepped up a little bit. Can we just shoot this guy? Okay, we've shot him a little bit. Now he's got friends. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Wait for him to come over here. Can we just grab this guy, please? Punch him. And then you're going to try and take a shot at me. You're staggered. Can I shoot faster? I'm just going to toss the gun. And now you're down on the ground. Then I'm going to punch this guy. And are you dead? Everyone's fine. Just, just grab the good gun again. Okay, this is... I've already used a bandage. I'm down to half of my health. This is uh, this is not good. Right, the uh, levels are getting... Uh, they're getting bigger. They're definitely getting bigger as well. This is all a problem. And do we have anyone else here? Use the pillars. Oh, I saw someone. I saw you. And I saw more than you, actually. Okay. Uh, step back. Step, 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 step back. Wait for them to step around the corner. This is going to have to be guns. At least the first one's going to have to be a gun. Can I just shoot you, by the way? Okay, now, can I get out of the way in time for him? He's at range. If I'm moving, I've got a good chance of a dodge. Yep, that was a miss. Good. Good, good, good. So now wait for him to... Ooh, is he going to come at me? Because I'm not sure whether I can actually hide here. I want him to come this way. Okay, now I'm going to wait here. Is he going to keep coming? Yeah, now he's coming. Now he's coming. Oh, 
kind of in a standoff at the minute. Darn it. I think we're just going to have to shoot him. Bit of a waste of ammo. John, you could have used the gun that was right there. There was a gun on the flipping ground. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Right, so get over there. On we go. We're okay for now, just. Oh, the next area, we're now up in the, uh, the rafters. Stay close by two. Oh, I see you over there. How about we just move over here for a second and grab you and just, uh, put you out of the way. Yeah, take out the gun people before they become a problem and just move from pillar to pillar. Okay, everything's going to be a-okay. Oh, okay, one person's coming in over there. Now, I'd like to be not spotted by them at all. Okay, how many more doors are there? There is a, there's a door right here, which is mildly unnerving. Let you just spawn, because we can't get to you in time, and just be aware he's... I think this person is fairly exposed. Yeah, 80%. We got a hit in. Go again. Down. Okay, but now we've drawn some attention. There's another one over there. Be aware someone's probably going to spawn behind me at some point. Now, I believe this is the this is the gun I stashed, right? Well, you know what? I think we've got a gunfight going on, so we kind of may as, uh, may as flip in well. Just uh, utilize that too. There's one there. Step out. We should be able to take you out. Oh, you're a flipping... That's a problem. Okay, you're about to take a shot. Go! He goes for the dodge. Shoot him. Now there's going to be another one. Step out. Go. Shoot. And he goes down too. Good, 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 good. So this is just, you know, not my good gun. This is just a gun. And uh, are we golden? I think we're golden for now. So we're just going in that direction. Okay, back to my good gun. We got trouble over on... Oh, we got trouble on multiple sides. But you can just go down. 90 down. Okay. Step over here. I see you. Uh, you've got... Oh. Okay. Uh, slight issue. Maybe we just uh, very quickly reload. Been getting through my ammo a bit on the uh, the fast side, to be honest. Could I just maybe make a run for it? I'm going to fall back. He doesn't seem to be too close by to me at all. And can I make it to... Uh, that was a miss. I couldn't get to that, uh, that one anyway. Move over here. Open door. And now just, yeah, get through into cover. On this side. Uh, that's not too bad at all. That's one brawler. And, ooh, hello over there. You've got a revolver or something. Well, that's fancy of you. Okay, so, you don't know where I am just yet. Okay, 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 okay. I've now got, oh, I've now got people after me, like several of them. Go. I know where you're moving, my friend. Go. Right, you go down. And then you need to be parried, uh, which is going to stop you striking me. And I'm just going to punch you a bit. Someone else is coming up, but it's going to take them a while. That's fine. Uh, take the step over here. Refocus. Just shake my head. Uh, and, yeah, someone else is coming in. And then there is... Uh, got a revolver now. I like the concept of having a revolver. Right, just take a step out. And uh, 90%. And, oh, yeah. Right, I've learned something valuable about the revolver. It's the slowest bastard in the world, I see. Okay, next area, we're now taking out the big lads here. They're trying to take me out. I'm burning through ammo fast here and maybe getting to cover. Ooh, just got lucky there. Shoot that guy in the back. You go down. There's two more coming in, but they are... That's two brawlers. I am not worried uh, by double brawler. At all. There might be more gun supporty lads. Uh, just take out one of them. Could have really gone and picked up a gun. Uh, so you didn't need to do that right there. Take you down. End up over there. There's there's definitely a gunman coming in. Go! Okay, yeah, there's two gunners. Uh, I've got five bullets left in my custom gun. Uh, who have we got left at this point? There's. Uh, I see you. I do have a reasonable but not spectacular shot. Wait. You're not bad. That's 60. That's also 60. Wait for them to come to me. Go and take you out. The problem is they're going to shoot me in retaliation. Oh, there's so many. There's there's a lot. There's a lot more than I was expecting. Three. Okay, and I've got not enough not enough bullets. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Change stance. Hide. Start rolling. Go. Go and go. That uses up a lot. Of okay, I'm out of focus. So that's that's a problem. Change my stance. Now I've got a bit more of a shot over there. I've still got only three bullets. Okay, I need to... I need to nail somebody. One of them's coming. Okay, just let one of them come. 
And there you go. You, my friend, can just go down. I missed. That's... Oh, could this be the untimely end of John Wick? Because now I've got... Well, I've got one more shot. Last bullet! Okay, big problem now. You're over there. I've got no ammunition. This is now... Throw the gun! Oh, we got the flipping thing in anyway. Uh, yeah, keep throwing the gun. Did you just miss with the gun? Okay, this is this is fine. Uh, now strike him. We're now engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat against people with guns. Because cause we are... He's going to be down. If I step into... Darn it, I was kind of hoping we'd be able to step into cover there. Uh, go. Pick up gum. He's now going to shoot. If I throw the gun... Oh, it's going to be the same time. So the bullets will pass each other in the air. Uh, okay, meanwhile, if I move to here... That's a 0 0.4, but it's not cover. It's not good enough. So I may as well just take the, the shot. And... Okay. We are down to... Uh, okay, I need to bandage again. Uh, so we've got... I'm out of bandages. I'm out of bandages. Uh, I need to pick up this gun. Okay, I've got 10 bullets from the less good gun. And I believe we're now going up against, you know, the boss of the area. So that's positive. Oh, never mind. I've just been ambushed by more people who have got... Oh, oh no. Um, I forgot to refocus. That's... I need to do it now. Okay, they're now trying to... And you're... Oh... Okay, you've got a revolver, don't you? Yeah, you've got a revolver. Uh, I need to dodge. And then how much can I move before you shoot? Not much, but at this range I might be. I wasn't lucky. Right, you are at least now covered. I can shoot you. You're now where you should be. You're planning to shoot at some point. Go! And I got one hit in there. Uh, just break their line of sight. How many bullets do I have left? Seven! But at this range, we should be okay. Go, shoot. The other person's not nearby. And then you, shoot. Okay, five hit points, no bandages. But, revolver. Okay, that's that's my only chance. I'm picking up the revolver. We're now going into the boss room with the revolver. That's it. Okay, now where's Osborne? And how many? Oh, he's going to have many, many bodyguards, I see. I see. So there's going to be many bodyguards. Uh, just take you down and end up over here. Uh, okay, this is... Everything's fine. There is a gun there. Now, where's... Where's he? Where's the boss going to be? Well, probably inside the big boss room with the... Oh, with the game controllers. Marvellous. Uh, okay, well, I see somebody. I see somebody over there. We've got to be a little bit careful, my friend. You are... You're just security. 80%. Go! Okay, so the revolver's uh, doing a good job uh, putting down the security at the bare minimum. Where's the rest of them? I see you. You're a brawler. Well, that's fine. Just uh, hang out. Wait for them to come to uh, me and then we'll just put you down, my friend. And then you're over there. Now, the problem we've got here is, yes, the revolver is so slow. Uh, if I move to... Okay, if I throw... That will at least get me something. Then I pick this up. Then I shoot him with that. Okay, now that was badass. That there, that was pretty badass. Now we just pick up the revolver again. Who else is here? And is Osborne here? Because I don't see the lad. Oh, there's there's a lot more yet. Okay, there's 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 more than I thought to this area. That's probably his office back there, then, or his bedroom or something. Right. Keep on keeping on. Just keep on shooting down the people. And there's someone over here. Just entering the area. Okay, just be ready. Over to here. And you are a... You're a brawler, but I'm just going to shoot you. With a gun. There you go. Never try and brawl the person who's got, like, you know, a gun. Particularly a revolver. Like, especially so. Right, get up over here. And we can probably just take you out. But now I've got only one bullet left. Okay, might want to go over to 9mm. Keep on keeping on. Loop around the outside. Where's the bastard? Oh, we got trouble. Oh, not quite though. Just got away with that. 100%. You go down. Get over here. Open door and... I've only got five bullets. Okay, so 
12 health, and he's got a revolver. I mean, you kind of said brawler, but, like, apparently, like, not in some ways. Uh, can I get down to... No, I can't get down to there. Oh, this is... This is not gonna be... You've also got friends. Maybe just take out his friends. Uh, so, okay, do not let him do that. Get over here. Take out the support first. Okay, support is now done, but we can barely hit him. Uh, he's also got brawler friends. Is he coming at this point? This is mildly concerning if he does. Uh, are you now in position? Take this guy down and end up over here. Oh, he's got revolvers! Okay, he's here. Uh, he's about to shoot. And if he does, it's gonna, it's gonna really hurt. Can I do anything to... Darn it, I can't do the old, uh, gun throw. It might get me some space. Go! Ouch! I need to get up to him. Because I need to... I can't push him in sufficient space. I need to strike him. That's going to stagger him. Okay, that's what we need to do. Get up to the bosses and then just start basically wailing on them. Striking doesn't hurt my focus. Now we just basically punch him in the face a bit. Okay, now his focus is pretty much screwed. Okay, now. Now we can start shooting him. I don't have a gun, but like, theoretically, that's a thing that we could do at this point. Um, he's stunned for a bit of time. Someone in here had a gun. Uh, okay, so- Ow! Well, that was embarrassing. It wasn't even flipping Osborne the giant brawler that killed me. It was just some unnamed lackey. Well, that's just- that's just sad. But so apparently ends the life of Keanu Reeves. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is John Wick Hex, which is, yes, a fascinating little strategy game that kind of has this very interesting time mechanic thing going on, where it's kind of turn-based and kind of action point-based, but not really. It's, it's very, very fascinating. There's some good stuff here. It's a fun little old time, but then... Uh, Guy who made this, same guy who made uh, Thomas was alone, a whole bunch of amazing other games. So uh, I am not too surprised uh, in the slightest that this is quality stuff. Link in the description below, well worth a look see. And also, I believe right now there is 30% off for the Switch and Steam versions. I would say uh, that's worth a look see. It's a good time, it's a good version of what it wants to be. Uh, may want to see a bit more of it in a live stream. My job is the vote, we shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John, so there's been many a true nerd, and this has been John Wick Hacks. Thank you very much, and goodbye.